Well, I guess I'm home, Dan. <laughs> All aboard! Ship ahoy! Yes! We go again! <laughs> Through the beef on, see the nice like a seasoning on there, looking all nice as ever. Gonna just brown the meat, try and seal it in, seal in some of the flavors, make sure it's nice and tender. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Looks good, don't it? Yeah. Then from there, gonna go chop up the uh, vegetables. Actually, I'm gonna put the potato in with the beef as well. So that'll give it a nice uh, bit of texture and flavor as well. Then, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do all of them. I'm gonna do some of the veggies. Here, I've got the pasta as well. I'm gonna take the pasta, put the pasta to boil here. And then, I'll pop the uh, vegetables on top here to steam. Bad men things that. So yeah, obviously, I'm saying obviously, but if you don't know, you don't know. Steaming is a lot healthier for you in terms of, especially for vegetables. Steaming vegetables is a lot better than boiling it. Because when you boil it, all the nutrients and everything just gets washed away. You boil it out of the vegetables. You see it in the water, you know, like when you boil some greens, the water looks super green and all of that. That's a lot of the nutrients and stuff you get, you, you're losing there. So when you steam the vegetables, right, the heat cooks it. But you don't lose too much of the nutrients. You lose you lose a little bit, but nothing crazy. You know what I mean? And since I'll be steaming it over the pasta, uh, whatever falls out of the vegetable will fall down into the pasta. So boom. Yeah. So it's starting to. Ooh, look at that. Do you know what I mean? It's looking good already. But don't get too carried away. Still got, still got a bit of way to go still. Not fully sealed in. I might add one or two little things in there to give it a bit more color. Normally, what we do, right, in the Caribbean, when we cook certain types of chicken, we, we brown it, so. Yeah, when you see I'm cooking at times, right, from doing meat, uh, what you could do at times is put vegetable stock in there, yeah? Vegetable stock in meat, yeah. Gives it a nice, a different dimension. You know, I mean, you can put your your meat stock in there, whatever, chicken, beef, but um, it's good to throw some vegetable stock in there. And I'm going to be using, I'm cheating here a little bit, I'm using Noor. Yeah, using their products as well. I'm going to put that in there, add some nice flavor to the thing, yeah. Check it out, you'll try it, you'll know what, it, you know what I mean, it tastes good as well, yeah. So like I said, that's the vegetable one. No. It in there, like simmer down, gives it a nice, adds a nice dimension to it. I mean, this is just stock, so it's like vegetables, all types of vegetables just are uh, boiled down, and you know, the real true essence of it is right in there. That thing is packed with flavors, man. Trust me, just right in there. You see, it's also adding a little bit of color to the mix. And I'm also going to add in a uh, beef as well, so it's going to give it a nice bit of flavoring. Don't worry, I'll taste it and tell you what it tastes like, and then you'll know how good it is. Cool. thing is uh, a low science thing here I don't know if you well at least for us in the Caribbean at least home right when we boil stuff like rice or pasta or whatever we throw like a pinch of salt or something in the water right 
um, oh, it adds, <laughs> adds flavor, but what that also does is, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right, I know I'm right. When you add the salt in the water, right, it adds impurities to the water. So guess what happens? The water actually gets past 100 degrees when it's boiling. Yes, I know water boils at 100 degrees, but if you put salt or any kind of impurities in it, the temperature has to actually rise to, to counteract that extra set of impurities in there. So when you boil water and you put some salt in it, the temperature actually goes beyond 100 degrees. Haha, <laughs> in case you didn't know, now you do. If you did, well, nothing, it doesn't hurt to be reminded of it. Alright, cool. Time to put the pasta on now. So yeah, I just popped some uh, Himalayan salt. Salt has been taken from the uh, Himalayan foothill. And on that note, right, since we have Himalayan sea salt, or him not sea salt, Himalayan salt, who's gonna bottle me some some Saline Island salt? Y'all know Saline Island? It's a tiny island just off of Karakou, right? Between Karakou and Grenada, just off of Karakou, where at least there used to be a salt lake. Probably still is. That's where the name Saline Island comes from. Saline means salt. Somebody hook me up with some Saline Island salt, please. Let me dash this little Himalayan thing out the door and make my thing taste nice. Add that nice little caraco flavor to it. Anyway, if you can find me some, holler at me. Send it my way. The water is just about there. I'm not going to wait for it to do no crazy set of bubbling up. Like I said, the temperature is going to be over 100 degrees by the time it gets there. So, boom. Pasta goes in. And let's just throw the whole packet in there just for safe measures. Another trick is, I think, if you don't want it to like uh, boil over and froth up and all of that, if you put like a dash of oil in there, that should kind of hold down the for with all the frothing and all that because you know that oiling on froth up like that. I can't remember where I saw that you know I think it was in one of them old school TV shows but it's true it works I've tried it a couple times so boom and ooh still bubbling a bit thank you IKEA I want my money for uh, promoting your stuff you know alright make sure I get my cut your vegetables you know very important that you wash your vegetables you don't know where it comes from unless you pick it from your own garden and then you just want to take the dirt off of it I know the pasta is almost done but still this needs to go on I'm gonna leave it on there for a little bit make sure it wilts and everything the one thing I'm worried a little about is the uh, the carrots so we're gonna have to play that one by air boom for your eyes only. Now just look over here, see what's going on. Ooh, can you smell that? I'm telling you, the day smell of vision is invented, I'll be the number one YouTuber because this thing smells so good. The potatoes aren't quite cooked yet, but they're getting there. I have the heat down on, on low, so everything should be nice and tender when this is done. Alright, cool. Wait for the end product. Grated a little bit of cheese there, you know what I mean? I just, I can't do pasta with a cheese. Well, not really, not too well. Another thing is, clean your workstation when you're done. I really hate seeing that, all right? A good workman cleans his tools and workstation. You don't wanna blame the knife next time it's in the knife dull. It's because you didn't wash it last time, it stayed there, you got all kinds of things on it, started rusting and all of that. Don't come up with no excuses, all right? Make sure you clean the thing out and everybody gonna be happy. See everybody in there, nice as ever. Starting to wilt and all of that, keeping in all the nice nutrients and stuff in them. So boom, gonna be eating. To Look how nice and green those things are. And you'll notice after um, they've been steamed as well, they look so much, they still look a lot greener than if you had boiled them. Gonna put this here. 
I stand there. Mm. So this is it. Yeah. The finished product. Look how green those vegetables are looking. Super healthy and rich in everything, man. Come on. Look how bright the colors are. So I hope y'all like that. Subscribe as usual. Um, comment, whatever. Very simple ingredients. Uh, I put in salt, pepper, some oregano. I put in the vegetable stock. It's very good, the beef stock. And the potatoes for the texture will give you a nice flavor as well. Um, yeah, the vegetables were all uh, steamed, all right? So they retained a lot of their nutrients and everything still. And then pasta, you know, I didn't throw in a little bit of carb in there with some cheese. I try to do more stuff next time. Uh, maybe one of these days I might even try my hand at a Grenadian oil down. If you don't know about that, check it out. All right? And like I say, subscribe, tell your friends about it, share the video, everything. Mmm. Mm. Now that's gonna be finished in like a couple of seconds. Actually, give me a couple of minutes, that'll be done. Come back for seconds as well. All right, see you guys soon. Peace, peace.